Hi, Paul here, a Smart Home Update, a very quick Smart Home Update. I'm going to introduce you to the Ruvi. It sounds like a Finnish word. It is a Finnish word. In fact, this sensor comes from Finland. It's designed and manufactured in Finland using parts from somewhere else around Europe. I think France, actually. That's where the chips are made, and the sensors. But anyway, here you go. Why did I decide to go down the Ruvi path? Well, of course, I live in Finland, so it kind of made sense when I'm looking at temperature and humidity sensors that I should try out a Finnish brand that got the wife approval. Uh, but also because this little device, not only does it measure temperature and humidity and air pressure and, mo well, that's it, those four. I mean, four is pretty good, don't you think? It actually can detect motion, just if it's moved, and air pressure and humidity and temperature. Now, it operates over Bluetooth, but I'm going to show you a little bit later on a Bluetooth gateway that I also bought from Ruvi. So I'm not going to be hooking up my mobile phone via Bluetooth to this sensor or the other four that I bought. But let's do the quick unboxing. This doesn't take long at all. There it is. That's the very small sensor. Now the specs on this thing are pretty impressive. Uh... And its operating conditions are also quite impressive. So I'm going to put one of these outside. Yes. And it is rated to work to at least down to minus 40 degrees Celsius and actually operate and measure down to that cold. I mean, it's a sensor made in Finland. They obviously thought of the temperature outside. Uh, it also can measure up to plus 70 degrees Celsius. Although you might want to use a different kind of sensor or mount this a bit lower in the room if you wanted to put it into a sauna. They actually give some instructions on how you could measure your 90 degree sauna with one of these by placing it at a certain point lower down the wall in, in the room where the sauna is, right? More on that later on. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this. Now, this is all there is to show you with the unboxing. But I can also show you a couple of accessories. There's a little silicon case. So you, there's a couple of holes there. You can mount this onto a wall or onto a ceiling. So there you go, just screw that through. And then when that is mounted on the wall or the ceiling, you can then just pop the sensor into the little silicon sock. I like that. That's a clever design concept. It's very, very simple. So you just end up mounting the bit of silicon and then insert the sensor. If you need to swap the battery or you want to move it around, well, you just can very easily take it out of the silicon. And there it is. That's good. That's clever. There's another little accessory I got as well. This is a little stand. And so you could just clip it in like that and then just stand it upright in an optimal position on a table. Yes, I, I know you're impressed. I am impressed. These are just simple little things that make it feel a little bit more quality. I've got a few more of these. I'm going to place them all around the house and one of them outside. But let's check out tomorrow the Ruvi Gateway. So it's a Bluetooth to Ethernet gateway. So that when all these sensors are around the house and communicating little Bluetooth signals, I will have a gateway to receive it all and feed it straight into Home Assistant. I know you want to subscribe and see that happen. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.